What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And today's Division 2 video is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, April 19th. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. Now we're going to start off in Washington, D.C. And we will finish off the video in New York City. All right, our first vendor of the video is the vendor from the base of ops. And here we go, starting with the force multiplier. This is the named Hanayu backpack with perfect combined arms. This week it comes with crit chance and skill damage. This is a really good pickup for skill builds, especially if you are using the capacitor. Next, we have a PP-19 with sadist and reload speed a G36 with damaged armor and perpetuation, and a Magnum with perpetuation and headshot damage. Uh, gear items, we have a Badger backpack with companion, hazard, and crit chance, and then a Overlord chest piece with reassigned skill haste and crit damage. Looking at the mods, crit damage at 10.2, drone duration 6.5, Turret burn damage of 4.2 and sticky bomb damage of 6.3. The only must buy from this vendor is this force multiplier. Pick it up if you don't have one. All right, our next vendor is going to be the clan vendor. Boo -doo, boo -boo -doo. Come on. Now, I hope everyone's having a great week. They did just shut down the phase two of the PTS, so we are looking forward to phase three coming up. All right, here is the clan vendor. Starting with the everyday carrier, this is the named Bellstone Armory chest piece with perfectly efficient. This week it comes with explosive resistance and health. Uh, then we have gear sets, aces and eights backpack with weapon handling, eclipse protocol backpack with skill damage, and hardwired backpack with repair skills. Looking at the high ends, we have a M1928 with crit damage and close and personal, followed by a Super 90 with vindictive and mag size, a Model 700 with killer and reload speed, and then a M45A1 with headshot damage and perpetuation. Now gear items, we have a Fenris chess piece with Vanguard max crit damage and status effects, Followed by China Light knee pads with skill damage and status effects. That's good. Those are some good knee pads. And then a Heligard chest piece with repair skill, skill damage, and skilled. Looking at the mods, crit damage of 10.8, trap duration 4.5, ensnare resistance 9.0, and shield deflector damage of 4.4. Must buys things to look at from the clan vendor. Um, the only one, I mean, nothing really. I mean, even these China Light, they're okay, but I mean, that's only if you need it for a skill build. All right, and that is it for the clan vendor. Now we're going to start our way west and make our way back east. Our first stop is going to be the campus settlement. Now don't forget to hit that thumbs up, support the channel by subscribing. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, let's run over here to the campus vendor. This is the vendor that looks exactly like Cassie Mendoza, just with a completely different voice. All right, here we go. Starting with the Carnage. This is the named Negev with perfect sadist and mag size. Then we have a M700 Carbon with damage to armor and strained. And then a M249 Bravo with Optimist and Headshot Damage. Looking at the gear items, we have a Seska Mask with Hazard and Health. And then a Richter Kaiser Holster with Health and Crit Damage. Looking at the mods, Skill Haste 10.3. Chem Launcher Radius 6.1. Hive plus 4 Stinger Charges. Pulse Skill Haste 4.8. And Trap Duration 4.2. Um, no bust buys, nothing like that from the campus. That's a bust. Let's move on to the Dark Zone vendor. Starting with Dark Zone Ha West. Ha West. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, remember, with all of the Dark Zone items, you need Dark Zone resources to buy them. 
So again, to see your Dark Zone resources, go over to the Resource tab, and it is right above the keys. For example, right here, I have 12 DZ resources at a 300. So if I find anything good, I'm going to have to start farming. All right, here we go. DZ West. Starting with the backup boomstick. This is the named double barrel sawed off with uh, that 17% shotgun damage. Now this one has that with max damage to armor and bread basket. Uh, I would reroll the accuracy for damage to targets out of cover and you're good to go. Next we have a Spaz 12 with damage to targets out of cover and bread basket and a police mark 17 with crit chance and steady handed. Now gear items. Eclipse gloves with repair skills. Aces and eights knee pads with weapon handling. Petrov gloves with headshot damage and weapon handling. And 511 knee pads with armor region and health. Now looking at the mods. Bleed resistance 8.5. Seeker mind skill haste 4.7. Shield Deflector Damage, 4.1. Firefly Skill Haste, 5.9. And Decoy Duration of 6.0. Now, must buy things to look at from DZ Hoest. Uh, not really. I mean, unless you want that backup boomstick. But, uh, Bread Basket, that's not my cup of tea. Moving on. DZ South. We're going down south, boys. Oh, All right, Dark Zone South, come on. Starting doo -ba -doo, with the Door Kicker's Knock. These are the uh, named Grupo chess piece with Perfect Spark. This week it comes with skill damage and headshot damage. This is a really good chess piece to get, especially if you're going to want to use it with a sniper turret. Just saying, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Then we have an Enhanced Aug with Max Swap Speed and Optimist followed by a police M4 with stability and perpetuation, and a military M9 with crit chance and bread basket. Gear items, striker backpack with crit damage, striker chest piece with headshot damage. We have a grupo backpack with calculated explosive resistance and skill damage, and a y'all chest piece with obliterate weapon handling and health. Now looking at the mods, Crit damage, 10.1. Drone deflect duration, 6.4. Turret duration, 5.9. And sticky bomb blast radius of 4.9. Must buys things to look at from DZ Haseyelth. Uh, the door kicker's knock is actually pretty good. You could use this with a sniper turret and the capacitor. Great pickup. All right. Last stop for the dark zones is dark zone east. Remember to go to the alpha checkpoint, not the main entrance. That way you don't have to run through the entire like courtyard. You can just spawn here and go right outside the door. And go exit checkpoint. And here we are. All right, DZ East vendor. Let's see. The Ekum's Long Stick. This is the um, named marksman rifle with perfect ranger. This time it comes with max damaged armor, but the other two attributes are too low. Then we have a SOCOM Mark 20 with swap speed and naked, and a Black Market M60 with damage to armor and in sync. Looking at the gear items, Foundry Mask with armor regen. That's a good one. Hardwired Holster with explosive resistance. Walker Harris mask with weapon handling and skill haste, and then a Grupo holster with crit damage and armor region. Looking at the mods, skill duration 8.2, uh, chem launcher skill haste 5.9, hive duration 4.3, pulse radius 8.9, and trap shock radius of 6.1. Um, no, no must buys. I mean, the foundry mask, maybe, but you can find the foundry mask in targeted loot. You really don't have to spend DZ resources to get it. All right, our last step, our, our last stop in Washington, D.C. is the theater settlement. All right, here we go. Big money, big money, big money. Starting off with the Calibre. This is the named shotgun with perfect jazz hands. This week it comes with crit damage. 
Then we have a Tactical Super 90 with Steady Handed and Damage to Targets at a Cover. And a ACR with Eyeless and Damage to Targets at a Cover. Gear items, Petrov Gloves with Headshot Damage and Skill Haste. And Golan Knee Pads with Repair Skills and Headshot Damage. Looking at the mods... Per, uh, protection from elites, eleven percent. Sticky bomb damage or seeker mind damage, four point three. Shield health, four point one. Firefly damage, five point nine, and decoy health of six point zero. Eh, no must buys. All right, New York City. Let's go. This video is going a lot quicker because there's nothing really to talk about. A lot of these pieces are uh, doo doo garbage. They're cabbage. They're cabbage. This is cabbage. The vendor's cabbage. It's just all cabbage. All right, here we go. Marco, and then we have Roy Benitez outside. So, first up, Marco. Starting off with the police T821 with eyelets and optimal range. Then we have a black market RPK with crit chance and eyeless. A Super 90 with Strained and Crit Chance. And then a X45 Tactical with Vindictive and Optimal Range. Gear items, Richter and Kaiser Backpack with Opportunistic Skill Haste and Repair Skills. Murakami Knee Pads with Armor Region and Hazard. And Murakami Mask with Repair Skills and Explosive Resistance. Looking at the mods, Repair Skills 16.2. Crit Chance 4.6. Turret plus one extra mortar. Firefly skill haste 5.9. And decoy health of 6.0. I uh, must buy things to look at from Marco. No. All right. Last but not least, Roy Bonitas. But first, make sure you guys pet the dog. Come on. Please pet the dog. Make sure there's food in his bowl, water in his dish. His tail's wagging. He looks like a happy dog. All right. Good. Good doggy. Now let's move on <clears throat> to the last vendor, Roy Benitez. All right. Here we go. Let's try to end this with a bang, shall we? Not the stash, mother trucker. There we go. All right. Starting off with the Vector SBR 9 mil. Ooh, that's my favorite Vector in the game because it comes with that really high magazine size now this one comes with measured and headshot damage eh, i'm not the biggest measured fan on a vector i think that it already doesn't hit hard enough so adding measured to it is just going to make that first half of the magazine not hit that hard at all um so i'd pass then we have a stoner lmg with overwhelm and swap speed followed by a, a usc 45 acp with health damage and optimist and then a Magnum with Ranger and Damage to Armor. Gear items, we have an Alps chest piece with Vanguard, Hazard, and Explosive Resistance. Richter and Kaiser gloves with Skill Damage and Skill Haste. And then a Sokolov Concern mask with Crit Chance and Weapon Handling. Um, this mask is actually pretty good. You could reroll the Weapon Handling off for Crit Damage and then just optimize the other two attributes. Um, this one's not bad. Now looking at the mods. Blind Death Resistance, 8.2. Disrupt Resistance, 8.5. Turret Burn Damage, uh, 4.2. Hive Healing, 4.0. And Sticky Bomb Skill Haste, of 4.3. Um, yeah. The only thing really from that was the Sokolov Mask, but you're still going to have some optimizations to do. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this weekly vendor reset in the comment section below. I think it's subpar. I do not think it's a good week, but those are just my thoughts. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If so, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.